Um, so I'd like to preface all this with a couple of things about my dad. One, he had the best sense of humor in the world. He was the funniest man, um, so quick-witted. And the other was how humble he was. He was always surprised at his success more so than anybody else. And that carried through his entire life. He never took himself seriously. So one of my favorite stories about my dad, um, I am from my dad's first marriage. And so I lived in Edmonton for a good portion of my life. And as a result, many people didn't realize that he had a daughter. Um, and if they heard my name, they automatically assumed I was a boy because it's Sean. So I was living in Edmonton. He was up here doing um, a hockey game. And I went to meet him at the hotel so we could have a visit. And after our visit, he had to get ready for the game. He memorized all the players, all their numbers, all that sort of stuff. And then he would just get his, his thoughts together. So when we were finished visiting, he took me down in the elevator to the main floor. And as we walked out, there was a bunch of um, broadcasters around and staff from the radio station and all that sort of stuff. And as we stepped out of the elevator, he just whipped $100 out of his pocket. And he handed it to me and he said, thank you so much. I just, I can't thank you enough. And the lobby went silent because apparently everybody assumed <laughs> that I was a prostitute um, because they didn't know who I was. So I probably looked a little stunned, but I did take the $100 and, and I left. And so he called me the next day and said, oh, he said, we got him good. He said, nobody had any idea who you were and they were dumbfounded that I would actually hire a prostitute. So that's one of my favorite stories about my dad. Just quick and um, funny. I, I, yeah, everybody was gobsmacked. Everyone has a story. It's time to tell yours. <laughs>